I was in a situation the other day and I kind of wanted your feedback on what to do in a situation like this. If I ever get in a situation like this, I, I hope not, but the chances being of me getting in this situation, the chances of you getting in this situation is kind of big. So let's just talk about it. I was just arriving to work. I was getting all of my shit into my locker and then I was going to get my um, lunch in the fridge. Before you even enter the kitchen, you have to wash your hands just because of the fact that COVID exists and you have to do it in two different uh, sinks. So you can decide to do it in the kitchen or you can decide to do it outside the kitchen in the bathroom right there and i was standing outside the bathroom washing my hands when i saw <laughs> that i had a little booger in my nose and i was like oh let me just remove that so i took a piece of paper and i was going to remove it but it didn't really get removed it was getting further down my nose so it was sitting right in the um, opening and then one of my bosses arrives and he was like Hey bitch, need to tell you about this. There were a few changes happening that he just wanted to tell me. So he was standing there handing me a piece of paper that I needed to read and go through, see if it was something that was whatever. But while I was standing there, I was like, okay, everyone can see my booger in my nose. Should I or should I not remove it? Should I let it sit? Because if I draw attention to it, that will be a little bit embarrassing, but it is embarrassing to stand there with my booger in my nose. And he, <laughs> I could see him like being like this on his nose. Like, and then I was like, okay, he is for sure seeing this, but I just froze. I just didn't know what to do. So I was just at a standstill and I was just standing and I was just looking at him like, yeah, 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 when he was talking about the information, but I was trying to like look down so we wouldn't see my booger. It was like a mess. Now that I think about it, I should have just, excuse me, blow my nose a little bit and then looked in the mirror and then I could be professional. <laughs> I could stand there talking, but no, I didn't. I was just standing there with this freaking booger in my nose and it was not cute. Let me tell you that. I just took my... I always want to say Berry M, but it is a Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Enriched? Enriched? Enriched Face Base. And then I took my Pixie Under Eye Thingy. I don't feel like this does anything, if I'm going to be totally honest. I think I'm going to try and take my Makeup Revolution Concealer. This is in the shade C12, so it is very, very dark. Just two small little blobs. The thing is, I don't understand how I can have uh, dark circles because you... Okay, let me tell you about my day yesterday. So I worked the entire week and then I had a day off yesterday. So it was my first day off. Oh, I don't feel like that did anything either. I wanted to buy the Becca under eye concealer. I think I already talked about this, but obviously it's sold out. Let me see if... Sephora has gotten it in again. No, of course they haven't. And now I look insane, but I think it's gonna be better once we have whatever. For foundation, I'm gonna take my YSL and my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is almost empty and it's a biatch to try and get out. And when I'm working, I don't wanna have even deal with this. So I am going to use it today when i have a day off anyway so i woke up and i was like okay i'm not gonna do my makeup or anything i'm just gonna be today because i was going to go to the gym well i was going to go to the gym later in the day when nicholas had stopped working because he always we work uh, weekends we work weekends on the same weekends that's not proper like this is the way i have to do it when i'm trying to like get the product out it's so annoying but it's almost empty. Way too much foundation for this large face. I was going to go to the gym uh, and I didn't want to do my makeup. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna edit the entire day because I had no other plans. I thought that maybe I could 
do a little bit of like things around the house, do a vacuum and whatnot, but I just got off to a very bad start. So I started out my day taking out the dog and we were out taking like a longer walk and whatnot. And then I just sat down and started to edit. After that, around like lunchtime for Niklas, he was like, okay, I'm just gonna uh, go to sleep for 30 minutes because he had slept very badly during the night. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna join you. So he slept for 30 minutes before getting back to work. I slept for an hour before doing nothing. <laughs> After that, I, I could not get up again. Like, it was so hard. So after that, I called my mom, took the dog out for a longer walk once again, and we were just, you know, not really doing anything special. And then I just started editing again. And I get so freaking tired editing. I don't know what it is, but I get super tired of editing. Not edit editing photos, not doing like my description box or anything like that. Just editing videos. It's just a hassle. I don't know why. So after that, I fell asleep again. And, it, and I just didn't feel very well. It felt like I was warm, like I was cold. Like, you know, I just didn't feel very well. So I slept for like, for an hour again. And then Niklas got off work and was like, are you sleeping? And I was like, no, 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 I'm just laying here. I'm not doing anything. It's so nice to sleep on the couch because I take Sige and I take him right beside me and I just snuggle him and I listen to him breathing and doing like this. It's like the best thing in the entire world. After that, Niklas went to the gym. I decided not to go because I didn't feel very well. So I decided that maybe it would be better to just stay home. I had already been to the gym four times that week, so I felt like I could skip one. I fell asleep again until, the way, until he came home. And when he came home, he cooked some dinner and I was just sitting watching purses online. Oh my God, this is so boring for you guys, but you need to hear about my day, okay? And then again, after that, I fell asleep again and I was like, like you know what, Nicholas, I'm just gonna go to sleep because I, I can't even open my eyes because I'm just so tired. And bear in mind, I had slept almost the entire day. Don't know what happened, so I slept the entire night for like maybe like from 11 to 8 woke up with the biggest headache in my entire life and I don't know why I was so tired the only thing I could think of is that I'm on my period but I never really get this tired when I have my period so don't know what that was about anyway i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> and i'm just gonna bronze up a little bit i'm using my milk makeup bronzer and then i am going to go off camera to do my brows and then i thought that maybe we could just uh do some green eyeshadow i'm gonna use the multi-chrome from natasha denona in the shade scarab scarab i've been so tempted using that so many times so today it's finally the day so here is the shade it's the scarab shade i'm just gonna swatch it for you so you can see what it looks like because it's beautiful and i just took a small little blob because i don't wanna i don't wanna waste it but it's a multi-chrome and it shifts from like gold and green so ah, uh, beautiful and as I said, I have wanted to use it for the longest time and today is the day. I took out two eyeshadow palettes. I don't know which one I'm gonna use, maybe both. First off, I took the Kaleido Sci-Fi Green. I haven't used this in such a long time, so I thought that might be. And then I took Natasha Denona Gold Palette that just looks like this, I think. I'm going to start off with this shade right here and I have primed with my Milani eyeshadow primer did not take anything to set right up here because I thought that maybe we could do that later on if we wanted to 
This one I got at Look Fantastic, by the way. If anyone is wondering, this is not sponsored. I had to take a little break because <laughs> this eye just started to run and doing makeup on a watery eye isn't the best. But let's go back to my Natasha Denona palette. I'm just gonna repeat myself. This is so boring for me to say every single time and this is why I never wanna like recreate <laughs> eyeshadow palettes, but these shadows are from the Natasha Denona Cranberry palette. The rest is from the gold palette. If anyone was wondering, now I'm just gonna take this in my crease. I've talked about the fact that I, this is like so pigmented. It's insane and it doesn't even look like, just took a little, Ooh, sorry, I just took a little bit and blended on my leg because I felt like this didn't really look like this shade, but maybe it is because the brush was clean. So I don't really use that shade too often, which is probably why I don't really know what it looks like. Do you ever listen to like documentaries or anything about where you are from? So for, for instance, from your town or from your town where you grow up because I think that those are like the most interesting ones so I remember when I was younger I can't remember when this was but I was a little bit younger but I wasn't like a kid super small I was definitely like a early teenager or teenager but there was this guy running around killing cats and it started out with, it maybe didn't start out like this, but the other day, sometimes when I work, I can listen to a little bit of, yeah, a documentary, depending on what I'm doing, but maybe once every two weeks. So it's not super often I can do that, but sometimes I do. And this brow, I am not gonna repurchase the brow freeze because I don't feel like it sits in its place. So just a little sidetrack. There was this family living in a house and their cat didn't come home one night. And then I think they found it the other day, the next day they found it in their neighbor's yard or something. And they wrote into the newspaper saying like, because they thought that someone had run the cat over and they thought that it was very disrespectful not to tell the owners um, so they wrote in like you that hit our cat you could have taken your responsibility and told us because that's not cool like that's not okay I'm just gonna take the soft glam palette and take a little bit of the shade tempera and then I'm just gonna take it closest to my brows I should have done this in the beginning instead and then I'm just gonna take it a little bit on top of this just so I can kind of blend it out a little bit. And this shit ended up being printed in the newspapers because sometimes, you know, you can write to the newspaper but they kind of decide what they wanna post and what they don't wanna post. But they decided to post this little letter. And the day after the newspaper was, this was by the way in the local magazine, so, it wasn't something that was like super big or anything. It was just like the local magazine. And the day after, they got a letter. No, this is how it went. They found their cat in their mailbox. I mean, imagine the horror just seeing your cat in your mailbox, but they did. And that, then they wrote a letter to the newspaper saying that it was very disrespectful and X, Y, and C. And after that, they got their own letter in their mailbox. And in this mailbox, it was like, oh, I wrote your uh, letter to me in the newspaper. Didn't you look at the cat? I mean, it was pretty obvious that this cat wasn't run over. Uh, I killed it, I slashed it, and it got a very slow death, basically. I mean, I would have been so scared. Like, first and foremost, there's a psychopath that out there that has killed my cat, my family member. I mean, I have had cats and it's horrible when they die or when they are run over. It, it, it is definitely like a family member, but then having to deal with the fact that they were killed by a psychopath and now I have to deal with the fact that this psychopath lives nearby me. Is it someone, or knows where I live, I mean. Is it someone that hates me? Is it someone that 
uh, is gonna try and uh, are gonna go after us once again because obviously they have gone after them when they killed the cat. He said that he slashed him with a kitchen knife. Couldn't you really see that? The cat was totally butchered. I stabbed him at least 20 times in the face, stomach, and back with a knife. From the first time I saw your cat, I'm translating from like English, from Swedish to English, uh, but, but from the first time I saw your cat, my intent has been to stab it, which I did, stab it to death. Now I'm gonna go into the Kaleidos palette and I am going to take, I'm going to take this color right here. I'm just gonna add it on right here. But they ended up catching this guy because he killed around 20 cats and, oh, he also killed a dog. So 20 cats and a dog. And he actually said, because he wrote letters to multiple people, but he said that he wanted to start killing um, women now. And he also dreamed about torturing them he dreamed about raping them and you know this is just like a, a person that is very disturbed and it's he's very sick obviously but what's really interesting and i think that this is it's almost like um don't fuck with cats the um documentary that you can see on Netflix. I mean, I watched that and I was so intrigued. It's the same thing. It starts out with a guy killing cats and then the internet um, figures out who it is. And it, it, it's almost like a movie. It's almost like it's made up because you can't really believe it. I actually forced Nicholas to watch it with me because I was like, this is just too good to not watch. And he never watches like documentaries and shit with me, but he was intrigued he, he thought that that one was so good but anyway with the cats then the internet found out who it was that was killing all these cats i'm gonna take the other green which is this one yo what do you fuck nat what do you fuck nat yo yo skönt Har du sovit gott? Mm. Men så, vad händer då då? Sige då. No. <laughs> Siggy is like a little baby in the morning. I'm not looking at myself, I'm looking at him. But he's so cute. And how can you not love him when he comes like that? He's always like that when he has just woken up. So you kind of have to calm him down. And now he's probably going to fall asleep pretty soon. I think I'm going to take this shade as I said. I don't remember how... Yes, I remember how they solved it. Like the internet. He had written something on a forum, forum called Flashback. I think it's like Reddit. But I'm not sure. But flashback is anyway, you know, if something happens in the world, like if the newspaper is alarming, like there has been a shooting, I always go to flashback and they know most of the things that has happened. They know like it was this person. So it's just like private people that just updates. So for instance, I could do so if it was somewhere where I lived and I sat on information, then I could just say like, yeah, oh, I know. And then... Yeah, just go out with that information on flashback. Anyway, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I just wanted to tell you about it because I find it to be so fascinating. In the beginning, they thought that it was a teenager just, that was just running around and killing cats. But then they found out that, or then they realized that it wasn't. It was a grown-up. And this was a guy in his mid-twenties. Someone in the neighborhood realized who it was and was 
and confronted him and he was like no it's not me but then later when he got arrested because the internet um, found out who it was and then they just called in tips to the police and they arrested him uh, i'm sure that they had more on him than just the internet saying that it was him but he did confess i just took a little bit of the orange shade from the kaleidos palette right now just trying to like blend it out a little bit and he has been in jail well he hasn't been in jail but he he what he he um has been in a psych ward i think you say oh right yeah he's an actor he was in a movie when he was a child and he played against mikael nyqvist mikael nyqvist is unfortunately dead today but he has been in a bunch of different movies. He has been in um, Swedish movies, obviously. So if you're Swedish, you obviously know who he is. But he was in the Swedish ver version, version of the woman with the dragon tattoo. He was in a movie where the wolf, Jacob, from Twilight, um, he played someone and Mikael Nykvist was in that movie. So Mikael Nyqvist is obviously someone that can be counted for, but this guy wasn't. And he was in jail or has been in a psychiatric ward for 12 years. 12 years. So up until today, it's been 12 years. I'm going to take this shade now. I think I'm actually going to apply it with a brush. And it was on debate, like, should they let him out or not? And I'm just going to take a little bit right here. Älskling Sigge, vad är det? I think you want to go out. I thought that he was tired, so I'm just going to do this eye and then I'm going to take him out. Oh my god, I'm already in love with this shade. In Sweden, we have talked about this before, but when you get convicted in Sweden, you basically get like very few um years of punishment you don't get a lot of years like life in in sweden life in prison in sweden is around 13 and a half years i think it is and obviously that's not life but that's the way it looks in sweden but i think it was on the carpet like should they let him out or not but I think they decided not to because they talked about it and they realized that he was someone that would probably reoffend. And if you are being convicted to like a psychiatric ward, then usually you can be like you can be in there for life. And he's probably going to be in there for life just because of the fact that he's obviously not well and they think that he could reoffend anytime now i'm gonna take my natasha denona palette and i am gonna take this shade right here and i'm just gonna take this right here i think that this is really pretty really really pretty I took Sig out for a walk and while I did that, I also did my concealer, powder, I just powdered right here. And then I did my under eyes and I took this shade from the Natasha Denona palette and then I just took a little, little bit of this shade from the Kaleidos palette. And then for mascara, I used these two. These have actually been my favorite combination. I think that this is a great alternative to this one. It's not as good as this one, unfortunately. I always end with this one just to get extra length, but I do find this one to be a good alternative when mm, all of my backups are, well, I don't have um any more of my backups of the essence mascara a lot of you guys tells me that in the us it's not being discontinued because it's still sold there but i think it is that it's going to be discontinued but it's just not they haven't run out of stock yet i'm gonna take i'm gonna take my nars bronzer but i actually don't want to go too heavy today so i'm just kind of dipping in very lightly on the back of my hand and then i kind of just like 
my skin as it is. I want a little bit of blush and a little bit of um, highlight as well. Maybe just a tad of bronzer, but I kind of think that my skin looks great as it is. I want to go a little bit lighter, but every time I say that and I have a makeup brush in my hand, I end up going heavy handed. Don't know what it is about me. I'm just going to take a little bronzer right here. Um, but yeah, as I said, I think it is that they haven't run out of stock yet because Essence has confirmed that they are removing the entire line, like the You Better Work line. And I don't think that that runs for only in, the, in Europe because I think that obviously they are going to discontinue it all around. So stock, the stock hasn't run out. I get so tired of myself when I can't talk. The stock hasn't run out. Keep piling it on. Some places here in Sweden still sells it. The thing is that some people tells me like purchase 21 of these. I could, but the thing is that it's going to get old. So I kind of want to see how many I run through and then I can order some extra ones and then I can run, la, 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 la. you know, you know how it is. What do we want to do for blush? I think I'm gonna take my Milk blush in the shade Perk. It looks really dirty. I think I'm actually gonna take a piece of paper and just wipe it down. I usually do that from time, or I do that from time to time with my creams because it can get a lot of dirt in it. So it just, I just take this and swipe and now it looks way better. I know that police gets a lot of shit but I was thinking about this when I was outside and, but I actually, I think that the police does an incredible job. Obviously there is a bunch of assholes all over. You know, it doesn't matter which country you live in. It doesn't matter uh, if it is in the doctor or in the medical field or if it is a policeman or if it is a teacher, there's always gonna be a-holes. But I do think that overall, like I am very impressed by the police. When I grew up, um, this thing was like ACAB, which is like A-C-A-B, which was a thing that was called like all cops are bastard. And everyone thought that it was so cool to say it like ACAB, oh, all cops are bastards. I don't know, I have a huge respect for the police. I think that they are doing an incredible job, especially here in Sweden anyway. They, they have too much on their plate. I don't know how many times I've gone in with my spoolie just to brush up my brow. This is why I'm not repurchasing the brow freeze from Anastasia. And that is all the blush I'm gonna take to die. And since I have, when I go in with a cream, Blush, I have a sticky cheek or a sticky base, if you will. So then I take, I'm gonna take this one. This is from Kaleidos. This is the shade Ray Rider Highlight. I'm just gonna do it like that, tap it off, and then just do it like this. A little bit more. Same thing here. Yeah, but I still have respect for the police. I think that they are doing a great job and I don't think it's cool to hate on the police. Now I'm going back to my blush brush and I'm just blending. I don't have any additional product on it, but I'm just kind of blending so it's not being like too harsh. And then I'd like to take this in my inner corner as well. I'm gonna take ColourPop Tip Toe. Just looks like this. I think that this can be like a cool lippy to this. Curled my hair and I don't know if it is like too curly. I don't know how well you can see, but it is pretty dang curly and I'm trying to like brush it out a little bit, but I don't know if I'm just making it worse. Nonetheless, this is what we're left with. I think the curls are gonna go down in a little bit, but it's just like, I just kind of curled them and now I wanna eat some breakfast because I'm starving. It was lots of fun playing with my Natasha Denona palette again because 
uh, usually stick to this side and not really this side anymore so it was lots of fun and the same thing with the Kaleidos palette I haven't used this in a long time and I need to but this little guy it's very small actually it is containing 2.5 milliliters and I don't know how much that is but I, I didn't need a lot of product however I don't know can you see the shift I don't know if you can see the shift it's really hard actually but I do think that the shade is wonderful I mean from the minute I swatched it I've been as the kid says obsessed it's beautiful so that is going to wrap up today's video if you wanted to give me a little like if you dislike the video dislike this video and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next little video bye